Hi and welcome back to my channel. Incredibly, it's been nearly six years since we bought this Samsung American fridge freezer. My original review of it on this channel is still getting views, so I thought I'd do an update with a few things that I've learned while we've had it, which might be useful for you if you're considering buying a similar American fridge freezer from Samsung. So first up, this model of fridge freezer, which we bought, has two fridge compartments. And in the bottom half, it has two drawers for storing fruit and vegetables and a shelf. Now, unfortunately, the design of these two drawers, particularly the top one, is far from perfect because you can't actually pull them out far enough to see what's in the drawer. And that's even more of a problem with the two door model because the space that you have to bend your head over the top of the drawer is restricted by the door in the upper fridge compartment. So in order to get around this, you end up having to open both doors in order to see inside the drawers, which obviously rather defeats the object of having two separate compartments in the fridge. If you're looking at buying a Samsung fridge freezer with just one compartment and one door, they've still got these drawers, which don't come out fully and make it a little bit difficult to access the food you put inside them. A lot of basic fridge freezers, which I've come across and you may have seen, will allow you to pull the drawer out completely. So it comes off its runners and you can see the contents. But these ones have a stopper, which prevents you from pulling them all the way out. And the only thing you can do is kind of lift them over the lock, which obviously you do for cleaning, but which is a bit awkward to do day to day. Samsung are still making the drawers like this. And I think for a premium fridge that you're paying at least four figures for, the design of these could be so much better. I'll link below to a video that a friend of mine made a couple of weeks ago that shows a current model of American fridge freezer from Samsung with exactly these drawers and the same problem. On the subject of the two fridge compartments, Samsung still make models of fridge with these two compartments. And so you might be wondering if it's something that we have enjoyed having over the last six years and whether it's been a particularly useful feature. And we have found it useful, but really only in one very specific application, which is a little bit niche. When we go on holiday, we often have a house sitter for our dog. So what's been great is that when we go away, we can kind of sweep up all the jars and the long life stuff that we want to leave chilled for when we return and put them in the lower fridge. And then we can clean out the upper compartment of the fridge and leave it completely empty for the house sitters. But that's it really. We've probably done that half a dozen times and that's been its only real use. Other than that, there is a downside to having two compartments, which is that you lose a little bit of space and flexibility by having the two spaces, because obviously you have a solid bottom and a solid top halfway through the fridge. And if you live with someone who can never find things in the fridge, whether it's an adult or a child, we all know someone like that, you'll enter a whole other level of challenge once there's two compartments to the fridge because they will swear blind that there is absolutely definitely no mayonnaise in the fridge, having completely forgotten that there is another section to the fridge. Let's talk about lights. The lower half of this fridge has a light panel which is recessed in the bottom of the top section's door. Ours stopped working, so we got the manual out which says in it, that you have to call out a service engineer to replace the bulb. Yes, really. It's not actually a bulb either, it's an LED panel. We tried to do it ourselves. We bought the replacement light panel for 30 pounds, but it basically doesn't work. It only produces a very, very dim light. Our local appliance center will not touch American fridge freezers. And we've had a quote to get a Samsung engineer from further away to do it, and it would be at least 100 pounds. So we're now living without the light, which as it turns out, is not a huge problem because as I mentioned earlier on in this video, you have to open the top section of the fridge to look in the drawers anyway. So we get the light from the top section 
to look in the drawers. And finally, the ice maker. I wanted one of these for years before we got this fridge freezer. And on the whole, it has been really good. And I particularly like having the filter water dispenser. But it's got a kind of little bit cranky with age. It goes through this thing where if you don't use it for a couple of days and then you try and get ice out of it, it will then go into a phase where it's really, really noisy for no good reason. And often with ice makers, it can be because of the water feed or it can be because it needs de-icing. But in this case, it's actually a mechanical part under the ice bucket that makes a loud clunking noise like this. And that can go on for hours and sometimes days. I contacted Samsung to see if they could sort it out. They put me through the whole frequently asked questions on the website. Then I spoke to somebody online and they had no ideas whatsoever. Their only idea was that my fridge freezer was out of warranty. And so why didn't I just get rid of it? And because I've been such a loyal customer, they give me 20% off buying a new one. No. So we've also got a couple of other features in this Samsung fridge freezer, and I thought I'd tell you about how we've used them. We have the power cool and power freeze. Now, the idea behind that is you can put things into either the fridge or freezer that need to come down in temperature rapidly, and the appliance will blast that area of the fridge freezer and get it down to temperature very quickly and we have never used that feature. We also have the vary zone. That's the shelf at the top of the lower section of the fridge freezer. And the idea behind it is you can use it for different applications, whether it's keeping fruit or vegetables or drinks in there or whatever, and you can adjust the temperature accordingly. It's a great idea in principle. However, we are creatures of habit. And over the six years that we've had it, for 99% of the time, we have used that section of the fridge to keep alcohol in. So we have never been very flexible with our flexi zone. So other stuff to mention because there is some positives. We, as I say, use water filters and they have been without problems. We have it fixed into this cupboard and it works very well. Apart from the noisy ice maker, the fridge freezer itself has been incredibly quiet. You really don't hear any noise from it at all. And of course, it's good at keeping things cold. So that's my summary of six years with our Samsung fridge freezer. I personally would go out of my way to avoid a model with those irritating drawers at the bottom of them again. But the rest of the fridge freezer has probably been no better or worse than most other fridge freezers. But I would check and see if current models require an engineer to change the light, because that's just annoying. If you've got any questions, then please do drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. On this channel, I do videos about home appliances. I'm one of the few channels that concentrates on the UK market. And so if you'd like to see more videos like this, please do hit the subscribe and the notifications. I'm on a mission to hit 10,000 subs this year. So every single one really does count. Thanks for watching.